At DVD 2018, BAE Systems presented The Black Knight, a technology demonstrator intended to show the progress that the company had made in its bid for the Challenger 2 Life Extension Project. The Life Extension Project, or LEP, was initiated in 2012 and intended from the start to address obsolescence issues that the British MOD had identified with the vehicle's fire control system and optics. The goal of the LEP is to extend the service life of Challenger 2 to 2035 or 2040, and a teaming of BAE and General Dynamics is competing with Rheinmetall for the final contract. The most noticeable external element of the Black Knight, which represents the maturity of BAE's proposed solutions, is the commander's site on the right side of the turret. The site includes both thermal and day channels, and is understood to include technology that is used in the French Jaguar reconnaissance vehicle. This potentially gives the Black Knight the ability to detect targets at a range of 15.4 kilometers and identify them at 4 kilometers, which would give the vehicle the ability to see first and act first. The gunner's thermal imager, visible above the gun, has been upgraded with a Leonardo thermal camera that uses extremely sensitive thermal sensor technology to assure that Black Knight can conduct hunter-killer engagements through 24 hours. This is one of the limitations of the original Challenger 2, as the commander is provided only with a relaxed viewing thermal screen provided by the gunner's TOGS 2 system rather than a true thermal combat capability. Other improvements include a Moog gun control system regenerative braking system which takes energy from the recoil of the main gun to provide power for the turret. Black Knight also benefits from a modified turret turntable which improves the speed of turret traverse and provides greater room for the installation of additional mission systems. This is all combined with an improved fire control system which would allow the installation of new ammunition natures if they became available. It is also designed to improve the accuracy of the gun. As a costed option, BAE has offered the Iron Fist Active Protection System, which is used to defeat anti-tank projectiles. If the system characterizes a threat as a sophisticated missile, it will first deploy soft kill jamming countermeasures, and if this fails it will deploy hard kill interceptors. If the threat is characterized as a dumb munition, such as an RPG, it will only deploy hard kill measures. This is combined with laser warning receivers, which are the same as those installed on the Ajax family, and also provide a sleuth to q capability which reduces the time that the Black Knight would require to engage a laser generating target. All of this combined means that the lethality of Black Knight represents an improvement over the original Challenger 2. This raises an area of debate for LEP, the main armament of the Challenger 2, which is the L30A1 120mm rifled gun. The gun is capable of firing L27 depleted uranium armor-piercing fin-stabilized projectiles, a potent anti-armor round, as well as the L31A7 high-explosive squash head or HESH round, a general purpose round with many capabilities. Past options have explored replacing the L30A1 with a 120mm L55 smoothbore gun which is used on some German Leopard 2s. However, the option was considered too expensive when it formed part of the Challenger Lethality Improvement Program. It is also unlikely that the installation of a smoothbore gun would affect the totality of the battlefield. Smoothbore weapons can accommodate a higher chamber pressure than rifled guns, which leads to a higher muzzle velocity on armor-piercing rounds. However, it is unlikely that the 2035 battle space will present any challenges that the L27 and the L31A7 rounds cannot defeat. It follows that the slight lethality improvement provided by a smooth more weapon would not be sufficient to defeat any targets that the L30A1's armor piercing and HESH rounds could not counter.